hope, really. Um, without hope, everything kind of dies. And so often hope is just it's taken away for all kinds of different reasons. So in the native community, we, a tribe is a family. So when somebody's in trouble, the tribe helps. It's more than just a single family. It's a whole bunch of families together. And so when the more people you have and the more diverse you are, then you bring all of these different talents together and you can go, oh, so-and-so over here is having a hard time. Well, maybe somebody over on the other side of the tribe has you know, some advice. And that's hope, that gives hope. And with that hope, then you can contribute back to the tribe. You can become sustainable. So hope is what really um, keeps us together. And the more we come together in these, these big events like we're seeing here with this Paddle to Quinault, the more we share. And the more we share and we're friendly, the more hope we have. So what we see here is a community, a very large community. And they're all talking the same language. Even though we, we speak different native languages, we all understand the same thing. In the native world, our youth are charged with two things. They are charged with their culture, which means you learn your song, you learn your etiquette. And the ed by etiquette, I mean you, you respect your elders. Um, you um, service your elders when they need food. You ask, you know, you help them with their food. If they need water, you help them with their water. And um, so I don't see that. Uh, a lot outside of the native world, but that's part of who we are. Now that instills discipline, and it instills a, um, a sense of being, that this is who I am and this is what I do. They also have to have an education, which means you, you, you stay in school, you do well in school. If, you can't, if you're not the school-bound type, then you go and you, you figure out a trade. And by figuring out a trade, you don't do it by yourself because you're in a tribe and the tribe has people in there. You know, in Indian land, you get names. You get a name when you're a, a small person. This is your youth name. And then as you grow up and you become an adult, you get an adult name. And this is who you are from then on. We've got both of those responsibilities. So it's not just one. It's not just going to school and getting a degree. And I don't care how advanced the degree is. But you have to learn the culture here. And then you also have to integrate into society. Society so that you can provide um, a, a livable wage for your family and for your tribe. And that you can bring that culture back to the tribe. So this is how we do it here. We're challenged with a great many things, up to and including uh, 1,200 pull-through Maristone straight and don't stop. Don't ever stop.